Welcome back to the Billy the Brush Art Channel. In today's video I'm going to be concentrating on Francis Newton Sousa. I'm going to cover a summary of his history and have a look at some of his work. I'm then going to set your challenge to identify which of a series of paintings are original Sousa's and which is not, the not being one by Billy Mumford. So, Francis Newton Sousa was born in Goa, India in 1924, but he and his mother moved to Bombay when he was very young. He attended St Xavier's High School run by Jesuit priests, and it was at this school that he discovered his interest and talent for art. He was, however, a rebellious child and was expelled at the age of 15. Between 1940 and 1945, he studied at the Sir J.J. School of Art in Bombay. Once again, however, he and 21 other students were suspended for joining Gandhi's Quit India movement. The last work Sousa produced at the school was The Blue Lady. Painted with pigment, squeezed straight out of the tube and spread with a palette knife. In 1947, Sousa founded the Progressive Art Movement in Mumbai members of which included, amongst others, S.H. Raza and M.F. Hussain. By 1949, Sousa had tired of the less than liberal atmosphere of Bombay, and left for London, where he stayed for the next ten years. However, London was not a success for him, and he started to travel to Europe, meeting other established artists, such as Picasso, on the way. Picasso had a significant influence on him. For the first few years in Europe, he was financially dependent on his first wife, Maria, whilst he struggled to support himself financially. By 1955, Sousa was starting to gain recognition. And during this period, he painted many of his most iconic works, such as Birth, which currently holds the world auction record for Sousa, Sousa's works at just over $4 million. Sousa's meteoric rise in London was followed by a sharp fall in the 1960s. It began with the start of his affair with Barbara Zinkant, who was 17 at the time, and saw him split from Lizalette de Christian, who had modelled for him in the 1950s, and with whom he had three daughters. Commissions started to dry up, and in 1967 he emigrated to New York with Barbara, who he then married in 1965. In 1971, Barbara gave birth to his son, and whilst travelling around America in the early and mid-1970s, Sousa experimented with a more colourful palette and a more energetic style of brushstroke, apparently inspired by his new offspring. Sousa, although based in Manhattan, continued to travel and paint until his death in 2002. I'm now going to show you eight paintings, seven of which are original Sousa's, one of which is by Billy Mumford. If you think you can spot the Billy Mumford, please put the number in the comments below. The clip after the paintings will show you whether or not you have guessed correctly. OK, this is Exhibit 1. Exhibit 2. Exhibit 3. Exhibit 4, Exhibit 5, Exhibit 6, Exhibit 7, and 
Exhibit 8. So if you know which one it is, please put it in the comments below. Yeah, this is interesting, the Sousa market. This is a real Sousa. Um, it came up for sale in a major auction house and it sold for £282,000. And then they asked if um, they could check it's not by Billy Munford. And the auction house came up with, we can possibly actually give the painting authorship. William Munford, not a member of the full banjo band, an art forger, convicted. So they think that's by him. So now what's happened is he's ruined the Sousa market because everybody thinks the Sousas now are Billy Munfords, and most of them may but well be. Um, this is a, a Sousa, you can see, that's one of Billy's Sousas. Um, over here is another one of Billy's Sousas. This is one of Billy's Sousas. Fabulous spread on it. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah, it's very nice. And then there's another one in the corner there that's... Uh, well, thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Interested in either purchasing one of Billy's paintings or would like to know more about them, please visit our website at billythebrushart.com.